Welcome back, you VTuber loving people out there, because today I have an announcement for Japanese Wash Wars Hollow Live production. This is going to be volume number one and volume number two remix booster box. That is kind of crazy. This box literally is the combination of volume one and number two. That makes sense in that way. I'm going to go over the details of the products as we have it thus far. I'm just going to show you some of the prices as well and maybe some of the negatives and surprises that we got going on here. So this box comes out on September 6, 2024. This uses the new thinner Japanese boxes even though the originals came in the bigger version. We have 12 packs inside of a box. A case or carton is going to have 24 booster boxes. And you're going to notice here the number of cards, 274 types of normal, 374 types of parallel. So what I did here was I took a look at volume number one and volume number two just to figure out what the differences were. If you go to this product page, the official one, you'll also be able to see the different signatures that are found inside of the new set. So here what I got going on for you is I just wrote it all out. We got 79 types of SSP, 79 types of SP, 30 triple rares, and 186 SRs, 30 double rares. To the astute people out there, you'll notice that there is a difference. And what you're going to do here is just count it all up. And I did it for you. So we got negative 17 parallels. And some people were thinking that it's probably because people graduated. So right away, this is what I saw. I did not compare the list. Someone wants to go out here to the Japanese site, look through this list, look through the ones that we got for volume number one and volume number two, then feel free to do that. I just went off by what the good folks on the internet has said. And what you'll notice is Rushia and Mel are missing from the list. Curious enough, Coco is still on the list, which I love Coco, so I have no problems with that at all. But it's just wondering why that actually is the case. It maybe have to do with the circumstances of their contract or their graduation. So nevertheless, negative 17 parallels, which means minus three SPs, minus three SPs, minus two triple rares, and minus nine SRs. On the normal side, we are missing 15 cards. That'll be one double rare, four rare, four uncommon, four common, one climax rare and one climax common so this one's always fun i was wondering to myself i'm like why did they do volume one and volume two because if you remember correctly there were also trial decks involved and it's more probably because most people don't need the trial decks at this point there's probably enough supply of that out there in the world maybe not the sp forms of the trial deck cards but in general, the cards itself. And maybe some of those got reprinted in other sets, such as the Ambassador set, the Premium Booster Box. We also have the Summer Collection. So if you don't remember, English side Summer Collection comes out August 30th. The Ambassador set comes out on August 2nd. So I sat here thinking to myself, because we get that announcement on English, is it still worth it to pick up the reprint of Volume 2? If you think... If you think this lovely green version of the box is coming out on the English side. And I'm like, I think so. Because if you think about this, right? Rushia, Mel missing from there. If you love those two, then maybe you should keep the version one and version two boxes. If you don't care about them or whatever other cards are potentially missing from this box, then you know what? Maybe you just wait for volume number one and two remix to come out to english if it ever does there's a high chance it might never come out but it, it's interesting again because when you think about the whole volume two getting a reprint would they really shove out this remix box on the english crowd if we are getting that so that's a huge consideration for those looking into the reprint of volume two should you get it because of this new announcement now, there's a bunch of other curious things here for you. So I just wrote down my thoughts. The case rates. This is insane. Because when you think about it, the new setup, one carton is 24 boxes. A new box has 79 SSPs. When you think about volume one, there was 31 SSPs. Volume two, 51 SSPs. 
the hit rate in volume one and volume two was one SSP and four SPs. But when you do the math on that, you know, one out of 31 chance, it's bad, but not that bad. When you look at volume two, one out of 51 chance there, if you pull an SSP of the one that you want, that kind of stings, but at the same time, not that bad. What is your chances when it is one out of 79, right? If if you assume they're only going to give you one SSP in a case of this new stuff, this 24, then it is not that good. It's only if, can you imagine if Bushy Road for this new case setup, which we have not seen yet, they actually do this, give two SSP for this Hollow Live remix set. That would be nice, but it kind of is impossible to hit the certain one that you want. Imagine that still again. Think about this. You need potentially, and I say potentially because we don't know the case rates, 79 of these things to get one of each card. Pretty insane. So again, I think back to myself, if I wanted a certain card and you wanted to open it yourself, I would rather look at the volume one box individually or the volume two box individually over getting this new remix set if only one ssp and that if is a huge one okay color of signs so there's no mention of any sort of change here with the colors let's just go back here and make sure before i totally say this foil stamping cards here's the talents and that is it so no such thing on here that says the signs are changing colors whatsoever so um, that's nice for the people that wanted to collect the originals. It is sad for the people that bought, you know, like these SSPs thinking that this is finally the end. They're not going to reprint any more of them because your card value should go down because of that. Okay. Last one, current prices. This is a biggie because I just mentioned to you right here that said, you know, if you want volume one, and you want a better chance of pulling the SSP that you want, you should probably just open volume one or open volume two. That's all good and well, but what do the prices currently sit at? I do not have the Japanese market open here. Uh, what I do have is the English side. And again, volume two is getting reprinted. A case of that currently sits at $2,000, but remember the reprint, people are selling them for $950. It is open for pre-order, so if you want to purchase that, do talk to whoever you purchase this through. Uh, the booster box for a Hollow Live number one, the case, is currently at twelve sixty nine thirty three. Then, when you think about these smaller booster boxes that's coming out on the JP side, they are definitely lower. So it's one of those ones where. Even though you don't have a ton of money, you at least have a new shot at getting the booster boxes for a normal retail price. Though your luck, your chances at potentially getting the SSP that you want is not that great comparatively. I also want to show you some of these Mel cards and Ruchia cards. So you can see here the trial deck version of Mel is gone. It doesn't matter because it wouldn't have been included in this remix anyways. Uh, the reason I point this out is more because your chances of getting a reprint of her card is zero at this point uh, when it comes to this remix version. Now, when we get, you know, an update here to volume number two, you'll be able to pick her up. So that's one of your last chances to do so. But even then, if you just take a look at the prices of her cards right here inside of volume number two, $35.73 is your SP. And then where is your SSP? I should have sorted this, but I did not do that. So my apologies there. Uh, here we go. SSP, $199.97. I know some people were, I think, accepting that Mal and Ruchio weren't going to be there. But in the end... These cards are still available in the English side, JP side. They are over here. This is just volume number one. You can see the SSP are gone for both Mel and Ruchia. Let me just zoom in there for you. They're both gone. And then with the SPs, they are actually here. You have Mel here, one available on Yuyute. We have one available for Ruchia. 
So with on the SSP, you're out of luck there, but for volume one, but volume two, volume one SPs are still there, okay? Rushia, anyways, on the English side, we got six available. Jeez, 197.60 and $74 for the SP. And I, I say this to the Japanese folks that may be watching this. If you can't get it on the Japanese side, maybe you get it on the English side. I find that funny actually saying that out loud now. Because one of the things that people used to do on the English side was go buy Japanese because it was affordable and available. But I never thought the day would happen where the inverse would be the case where potentially I didn't look up. Obviously, Yuyute is a site by itself. There's other places, other stores out there in Japan that people could buy through. Or you just go on eBay, hop on eBay. But uh, interesting if I would say the JP folks buy English because they can't find the JP cards. Wouldn't that be quite a wonderful thing? Anyways, last thing I want to talk about. And this one is the funniest part of them all. Uh, we have. This, if you have not heard, Hala Live is coming out with an official card game. They don't need, I guess, to be in Y Schwartz. They can make their own product, but it's actually made by Bushy Road. And I know people out there were dissing Bushy Road because why would they diss Bushy Road? Because they are competing against themselves by making this card game. And my contention all along was the fact that, you know, they have to do it. And the reason being is Hollow Live's a big IP. They know they can sell products. They know people love their VTubers, right? That's always the big thing that they can sell tons of product and there's enough wallets out there to purchase these this merchandise, right? So what we have here is Hollow Live Show Card Game. You have a starting deck and boost your pack, boost your box. This comes out on September 20th, 1980 yen for uh, I guess it would be Sora and Aski, and then on the right with your booster box, fifty-two eighty for a booster box, twelve packs. That sounds familiar, right? That sounds like fifty-two eighty for twelve packs. Yep, this, this is Bushy Road's doing. So again, it was made by Bushy Road. I always said that because I felt like if they didn't do this, they w Bushy Road themselves, Y Schwartz would be cut off out of the Hollow Live IP, right? They didn't do it. They can always go to another card game, a guard company out there and just get them to produce it. And there's probably tons of them willing to pick up Hollow Live. So why not deal with them and then keep the IP? Let these reprints keep rolling. Let these products keep flowing. And the funny part is, if you did not notice what I scrolled down to earlier, right here, Bonus information, one PR card of Hollow Life official card game is enclosed in the box. So you're going to tell me that this product, and remember the date I just said, the date comes, this thing comes out on September 6, 2024. This Hollow Life official game comes out on September 20th, 2024. So 14 days later, you're going to get the official card game. Inside of this remix box is a PR card for the Hollow Live official card game. That is some wild marketing right there. They're saying, you know what? Here is a reprint of Volume 1 and Volume 2. And oh, by the way, there's a card for this game that we're producing as well. And if you have not known, if you did not see my live that I did, here are some of the cards that come inside of this official card games. Let me zoom in on that. Take a gander at that. Wow, those are some beautiful cards, right? Just, just exceptional looking cards. And then you just take a look at this. I love doing this when I get to hit Alt Tab, Alt Tab, Alt Tab, Alt Tab. Just take a look at the screen. Isn't that a, amazing looking? And let me just zoom in, make it fit a little bit better. There you go, there you go. Some nice looking cards right there. So we got Y Schwartz card, and then we got some official Hollow Live card game cards. Yeah, that's uh that's interesting. I know people again was wondering how Bushy Road can make this work, and it reminded me of this 
flavor text on the bottom of this force of will which i love so much we got amateur we got some people out there that doubt the prowess the knowledge the force of will that's going on inside bushy road headquarters they will make it work they will get you to spend some money on these hollow live cards and somehow they're gonna tie them together so that you buy both products amazing isn't it that is a master class on selling product getting all of you people that love this stuff to you know look that direction you wanted some Y Schwartz card of hollow live here you go this is your chance of getting volume one volume two all in the one box get some gambling in there cost you a little less to pick up these boxes for your shot at many 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 vtubers inside of here 79 ssps if that wasn't enough for you we're going to remind you that by the way there's going to be an official card game which you could spend more of your money on that is amazing but as you know i stress on this channel the importance of budgeting you will not have any sort of problems in your life if you budget you will not go crazy with these whole uh trying to open trying to hit the jackpot on these cards though i mean if you hit that sweet say maybe you pick up this set maybe something will be fundamentally different maybe the art will change but who knows we won't know until closer to september but as always have fun be heavy don't spend anything out of your budget have a good one